Praise the Lord. I'm your host, Reverend Joseph Alabi Bote, presenting to you a message by accepting our Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. This message goes to the entire world as we seek Jesus Christ. As we need Jesus Christ in our life, in our daily life, a life without Christ is full of crises. Acts chapter 2 verse 36 and the Bible reads, Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God hath made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucify. This Jesus, this same Jesus whom you crucify. The world is rejecting Jesus Christ. The world is rejecting Jesus Christ. Why? Because we are lacking the knowledge of God. Hosea 4 says, say, my people are dying because they are lacking knowledge. But I am here to advise you, I is the only way. See, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man come to the Father except by me, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's the same man that was despised by men. But the Bible says, and the world became fresh and dwelt among men, and we beheld the glory of the only begotten Son of the Father. Who is full of grace and truth that is the same jesus christ of nazareth and from john chapter 1 verse 1 say, in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the same was god for all things were created through the word and there was nothing made that was made without the word of god in him there was life and the life was the light of men and the light shine in the darkness and the darkness comprehended not simply because jesus christ is the light I pray that as you hear my word, as you listen to this word message, your life will never remain the same. Your life will never remain the same. But rather, you have a relationship, intimate relationship with your God. So make sure you pray every day, every now and then. Because Daniel prayed, and even in the lion's den, because of the prayer, because of the relationship with God, the angels came to rescue Daniel in the den. So Darius called Daniel. And the living God, the God that you are serving, was able to save you. And Daniel said, King, may you live forever. My God has sent his angels to close the mouth of the lions that they can never hurt me. So I'm not hurt. It takes prayer. It has relationship with God to bring you to this far. We saw Joseph in the prison, the same God, the relationship with God. And Joseph became a prime minister in Egypt. Joseph, in the seven years of farming, it is that same man Joseph, the prisoner, the one who was prison to feed the whole world, both Egypt and Israel. We saw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego disobey the king's rule that to serve the image of Nebuchadnezzar. They were put into fire, but even that fire did not consume Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they were rather fall in the fire. So Nebuchadnezzar saw four people and said, even the fourth one is like the son of the living one. It means having a relationship with God, God comes closer to you. Angels come to serve you. So I pray that as you hear my voice, your life will transform and change for the better. So every now and then, every second, every minute, every hour, when even when you wake up, you say, thank you, Father, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for accepting me as I am, so that you have that relationship with your God. Anything, everywhere you are, make sure you remember God in your prayers. Remember God in your conversation. Like on the way to Emmaus, uh, Cleopas and Luke, they did. They were chatting, discussing about that man who was hung on the cross. You see, we thought he is our savior, the man who will save Israel from our sins. But he has been hung on the cross. But even as they are speaking, the same Jesus came to them. 
walk with them, give them food, bless their food, and their eyes were open. I pray that your eyes will be open. I pray that you will know the living God, the one that you are serving. Even Apostle Paul said that I might know him, the only true God and his resurrection. If you know God, you must know God on this basis. The first one, the blood of Jesus Christ, that was shed. Beloved, there is power in the blood. There is healing in the blood. There is redemption in the blood. There is salvation in the blood. For the blood speak. The blood of speak, the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. So I pray that the blood of Jesus will sanctify you as you hear my voice, as you listen to this message. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14 says, Christ Jesus has redeemed us from the curses, from every curse, from the family curse, from the ancestral curse, from the curses of God. It is only the blood, and the blood has redeemed us from that curses that we shall receive the blessings of Abraham through faith, plus the promise of the Holy Spirit of God. Receiving Jesus, accepting Jesus into your life, you receive the Holy Spirit of God. You receive the Holy Spirit of God into your life. Jesus said, if you will be able to know how to give good gift to your children, then how much more shall your heavenly Father give you the Holy Spirit of God to them that ask Him? So if you, are, you, are, you want to ask anything from God, beloved, it is the Holy Spirit of God. It is the Holy Spirit of God. That is the best thing. That is the good thing to take. Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. So you cannot serve two masters at a time. You either love one and hate one. You cannot serve mammon, that is money, and the Holy Spirit of God at a time. All that Jesus is trying to say is to accept him as your Lord and your personal Savior. And any other thing shall be added unto you. And in the same Matthew chapter 6, verse 32 and 33, it says, These things do the Gentiles seek. But I, Jesus, I know it is neither by the believer, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things including that money shall be added unto you. I pray that you seek Jesus, you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior. If you accept him into your life, you are saved. Therefore, accept your Lord. Accept him as your Lord and your personal Savior. Once again, I am here to tell you things that if you accept Jesus Christ, that you need. That is redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins eternal life, sanctification, justification, and above all, salvation. So salvation comes as you accept our Lord Jesus Christ. So as you accept the Lord your God as your Savior, Acts chapter 4 verse 12, the Bible says there's no other name that man will pass through that name to be saved, except by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, then you are saved. Then you have life. Then you have eternal life. Beloved, the whole world is crying. And we forget about the life that our God has given to us. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 16 says he has given us a, a riches, prosperity in our left hand. But long life in our right hand. All the ministers of God are saying one thing. That is, that is the, uh, 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 what Moses said in Psalm 90. That our years are 90 and if above all it is at 90, uh, eight, uh, 70 to 80 and uh, maybe 90. But it is never so. Jehovah God said in Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. That I have given you only 120 years. So it is 120 years, that is our years, for this dispensation, we, all the men of God are same 70 and 80. Beloved, I tell you, if you accept our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, you have eternal life, you have salvation, you have everything, and above all, the life that you are living will change. Life without Christ is full of Christ. If you are sick in any part of your body, just lay your hand on that feathered part and I will pray for you. 
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I call upon you to intervene on our behalf and heal every sick, every part of their body. Heal them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Release the anointing of healing to heal them. That as you heal them, so reveal yourself unto them that they may know you and serve you, the living God, in Jesus' mighty name. I bless you. I worship you. I thank you in Jesus' name. I am your host, Reverend Joseph Shalom. Peace. God bless you. Amen.